my name is Victoria Maldonado and this is my husband Marco. Together we've been coming here to community for about two and a half years. Um, we have two new five and a half month old twins, boy and a girl, and he, my husband also has a 10 year old son. A really good friend of mine, Sam Kim, um, invited me to come to Yellow Box. I was kind of skeptical. I didn't know what Christian church was all about. And uh, so one day I took him on on that offer and I came with him to church. And I was blown away by the welcome that I received. And since then it's just, it's been an incredible journey. I had no religion in my life, but I decided I'd go with him because it was important to him and he was important to me. I kept my head down, I didn't look at anybody, I didn't say hi to anybody, simply because I was terrified and I thought people were going to judge me. I really had that feeling um, because of how I'd been treated by Christians in the past. But I decided to come with him, and this was a completely different experience from any other church experience I'd seen. And eventually, it got to the point where I needed to stop coming. I think because it was affecting me emotionally and I didn't want it to. I think he went one week without me. Two weeks. Was it two weeks? And to his credit, and this was actually a pivotal moment, he stopped going because I wasn't going. And because he did that, over the next couple of months, I began to observe and see how it affected him not going. And then one, one week I said, okay, if you wanna go, I'll go with you, I'll try it again, that's fine. And it was a hard experience for her to come back again. And, uh, but this time around, she came in with an open mind. She started lifting her head, saying hello to people. As I got to know people here, I realized that these people truly walked the walk and talked the talk, or at least tried their best to do so. The biggest impediment, I think, really was myself. Just not being willing to open myself up to it. And when I finally did, um, actually through the Alpha program, that was really what did it. We started hearing about Alpha, which I had no idea what it was. If you have questions, good questions, bad questions, any questions, this is the place that you can ask those questions. So I looked at her in service and I said, hey, we should sign up. Like, and nah. <laughs> <laughs> She was skeptical, so I kind of left it alone. But then like two days later, I signed up clandestinely for right, both of right, us. Right before the weekend, she signed us up and yeah. when she told me, I'm like, okay. By the last day, the last session, I couldn't vocalize it myself. I looked at him, I gave him a look, he knew what the look meant, and he asked the group to pray for me about um, something we were going through, which was infertility. At that very moment is when I felt it, and I knew it. And I opened myself up, and from that point on, I just felt changed. And just allowing the Holy Spirit to, to shine inside me. It was very emotional knowing, knowing her past, knowing how she felt before knowing how it is now. It was during reading Finding a Way Back to God. We were doing that with our small group and something just clicked in me and it said, you're ready, this is what you need to do, this is, this is the next step for you. I felt really good and true to myself about getting baptized at that moment. Because Marco brought me here to community, um, this is the environment that works for me. And this environment shows me that every, a lot of other people have struggles just like I've had. It's made her who she is. It's made her the woman, the wife, the mom, the, who she is. It's just a wonderful feeling.